Friends, Jimmy LaRose here, Polaris Fundraising Worldwide with Todd Isburner of Share Media. You know, we have been having fun, and recently, we were privileged to go over to Europe. It was an awesome opportunity. Uh, somehow the word leaked out that there were these guys in America called Share Media who knew how to get on the radio and ask for money. Well, you know there's some cultural sensitivities. I mean, typically we go in and our hosts are very professional and we blend with the an announcers on air and we join them on air and we do the ask. That's what we're good at. But to come over into a, a, another culture, you can't just right. come in and as American, get on the radio and start to ask. So we took a little different approach. First of all, United Christian Broadcasters had never, ever, ever gone on the radio to ask That's for right. money from their listeners. And let's say, United Christian Broadcasters, UCB, they're privileged to be involved in publications, privileged to be involved in radio now, um, television, the internet web, but they are stewarding the body of Christ and it's different. Because here in the States, we have 1,700 stations. Right. In England, they have UCB. That's it. They were able to go digital recently and right, reach the entire, the entire area. I mean, beyond what they ever imagined they could do. So lots more potential for many, many more listeners. But never ever asking for money before was a tough situation to be right. in, not knowing how to do it. They were very squeamish about it, but very receptive and open. So we came in at Share Media not, not to do the on-air hosting, but to do a little bit of teaching and training following on the heels of some fine training that you gave, and to talk to their jocks about how to relate and how to ask and not be afraid, understanding the mindset that, you know what, your listener, if they know you have a need, they will be happy to help support you. They really will, because you've already built that relationship with them. That's where radio is so much different. We have already established a relationship right. where the average listener actually thinks that you, the morning guy, are their friend. Because, I mean, they're listening to you in the car, or in the bathroom. I mean, there's a shared intimacy <laughs> there. So we came in to teach, to train, and then we went into the event with them. And I, I got to tell you, we're, we were like in virgin territory, all right. of us. And the coaching that we were able to bring, we, we were like after every song, uh, during every song, we were sort of coaching, right, on the next break, here's where we're going to go next and here's why. And those those announcers were as sharp as you could possibly ask for. They got on, they had such passion. And what happened was the little bit of squeamishness and reluctance that should we ask people for money or not turned into a passion of, of course we ought to ask. They want to partner with us. Let's, let's fulfill their mission again in partnering with us. It was a great opportunity. It showed us again the value of collaborative efforts, getting in and providing assistance through mentoring, training, coaching on air, and then watching the pros go. You know, I listened to the campaign and oh, it was uh, fun. Oh. they gave over. Yeah. I mean, they were engaged, they were passionate. There was, there was no hesitation no. Um, to invite people no. to co-labor, to stand with UCB. Well, they also brought in some things that we haven't done a lot of over here, and that was in employing some of the social media right then there live. We had four or five forms of media happening at once. We had the on-air broadcast. We had the phone center with people calling back. We had Facebook going with one of the on-air jocks answering Facebook live while he was Twittering and tweeting away. So now we had responders coming in with tweets that he was reading. We had all these various forms of media combining together for interactive radio, and I'm telling you, that made a dynamic right. broadcast. The interaction level, listeners want to know, hey, can I get involved in this thing besides just giving you money? And the answer is yes. So there are all sorts of things that we can bring to the table now that we're just beginning to experiment with others. And UCB with the great guinea pigs, now we can test all that stuff on you. <laughs> As a result of Share Media's collaboration with Polaris Fundraising, working with UCB, yep. Christian Radio was brought for the first time to the whole of the UK. Correct. And we were responsible together through direct mail, through on-air campaigns and through major gifts fundraising of generating an additional two million pounds yeah. in one year yeah. to help the people of the United Kingdom have the gift that we've been enjoying here in the States for decades. It was a mind-blowing miracle, but God used a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make that happen. That's great. It's a lot of fun. Friends, we're glad to be with you. Thank you.